Hello everyone, I am Kang Yun, and welcome back to Demon's Souls. In the last episode, we spent pretty much the whole time meeting everybody in the Nexus. We didn't do any... We didn't get in any combat, go into any of the Archstones. I sort of picked up on this playthrough partway through the beginning, more or less with the, uh, uh, starting with the Dragon God, so I figured I'd like to go through things that I didn't do at the beginning of my playthrough. Um, we talked to all the NPCs and got all their dialogues as far as I believe we did anyways, and uh, showed part of the Nexus. I don't want to lose my body form just yet, so I don't want to take risks dropping down. I mean, I, I probably could do it, but just to be safe, I'm not going to. Um, so I figured we we're going to go to Stonefang, because I need Flame Lurker's soul. I also need the Dragon God's soul. So, I think we're going to wait around a little bit while we're in human form and try to get a blue phantom to help us. If not, that's okay. We'll just go through the level on our own. Um, we may get invaded, which is why I'm going to wait over here because the invaders spawn over by those barrels. And when they spawn in, I don't know if it's a glitch with this game or what. I think it might be have something to do with how fast the load screens are. Where on their end, they spawn in and they're already in my game before they've spawned in, in my, like where I can see them. Because I've died several times standing over there waiting for blue signs to show up by uh, red invaders spawning in and killing me before I can see them. <laughs> that crystal lizard got away. I just realized that now. We'll go and get this soul item over here. I'm... I'm level 66, so I'm not sure how many people are going to be putting their signs down here. But you never know. It would be nice to get, while I'm in body form, to get some co-op. Uh, so today... Excuse me, so today I had some good news. Well, it was kind of strange, and it was almost, like, worrying news at first. Um, remember I told you that I sent my laptop in to be repaired? Well, they received it, and I got an email today saying that Apple requires my require they need me to contact them because there's there was an issue with the repair and I checked what it was and it said that the serviceman the repairman found damage that was not noted in the report and so a payment was uh re was needed because it wasn't covered by their warranty. I have Apple Care Plus, which I was told it does cover liquid damage, which was what I reported, because that's what happened. I spilled water on it. And the initial Apple Care person I talked to, we're just gonna make our way through the level. Um, the initial person I talked to 
told me that it would be a hundred dollars. So I paid the hundred dollars. I don't need the sticky white stuff. And... I sent it in, like they said. Well... They were saying that the report... They found something that was not stated in the report. And I'm like, well, what did they find? And it says they found liquid damage to the heart, the motherboard. <laughs> and that's exactly what I reported. So I was really confused. What was going on with that? And it said that they required me to pay $300 or they would send it back unrepaired. So I called them naturally. I wasn't about to pay for something. I can't even pick up this axe. Spider stone. Man, I would like those guys to drop some iron knuckles, but they haven't been dropping those. Uh, we're too late. So I called the I called Apple again and I was explain my situation like Um I sent my laptop to be repaired for water damage. That's what the report should have said when I sent it in. And why are they now telling me that they found Ooh, I don't want to kill this thing. I don't want to kill this primeval demon because I want to kill the armored spider first. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? I have to go around this way? All right, well, I thought he was gonna block me. How much damage does this thing do to you if it attacks you? Oh, a fair amount won't kill me, though. That's its only attack, by the way. Um, yeah, so I was like, I know there's water damage, that's what it should have said. So I called there and the, the woman who spoke with me didn't seem to, I don't know, she, she basically gave the, uh, we're gonna use Mr. L on these guys. <laughs> She basically transferred me to somebody else who, like a, an advisor who had more authority than her. And the advisor was like, well, I, I explained the situation. I was like, yeah, they said it was $100, so why, I'm, why are they telling me now that it's $300? And he's like, well, were you charged that $100? And I looked at my bank account and I wasn't. And he was like, yeah, there's no, it's, he said that the repair request was sent and they only, and it was sent for zero dollars, but the guy noted that there was liquid damage. <laughs> so, he, but he was like, yeah, I don't know why you were told you only had to pay a hundred because laptops is 300 for Apple Care Plus in this situation. So I'm sorry that, that you were told that. And because we, we, uh, we're not going to tell you you had to pay one price and then charge you another, so we'll just waive the fee altogether. I was like, oh, wow, well, thank you. So, yeah, I'm getting my laptop repaired for free now, it, it would seem. And then I got a message 20 minutes later. Oh, and the guy, the guy I spoke with gave me his, his direct contact information, saying if I had any problems to contact him directly. Which was nice. And, um, I, would, I wish these dogs would come out. Here, we'll try to blast them. Oh, there they are. Of course, it did nothing to him, somehow.
Whew. All right. Those guys are down. Let's spice up. Yeah, so that was good news. I was pretty happy to find out that I'm... Well, first of all, that I'm not going to get have to pay $300. And then on top of that, I'm not even going to get charged $100. So... Good thing Apple screwed up. <laughs> did I have my talisman out, or did he just straight up... I didn't block him. I felt like I was blocking, but... I can hear that, hear that filthy official up there. Oh, yeah, see? He can shoot at you from up there, guys. So don't just hang around. Here, I died a bunch to this guy last time I was over here, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. God dang it. Man. Oh, uh, yeah, let me just eat this grass here. That does not stun him if he's in the middle of an attack. That's the biggest problem with these enemies, is they get hyper armor on all their attacks. Ah ha ha. Jeez. I am not having a good time dodging that. Wow. Usually I can strafe that pretty good. There we go. And there we go. Oh, now he wants to melee. Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't want any of that. Just let me cast second chance again. Man, second chance is so... <laughs> it's so... I was watching Peeve's stream and... Of his first impre of his first playthrough and... And he's like, if second chance is still as broken as it was, we're definitely using that. And I'm dead. Oh, you are so dead, man. I have an arrow. Just shoot him. There we go. Oh, no wonder it didn't do damage. I'm using Talisman of Beasts. I'm like, why did my God's Wrath only do 62 damage to that dog? Or whatever, the, whatever it was. Because we're using a crack Talisman of Beasts. And yes, that's still in the game. You can still cast... I haven't done it myself, but I I know it I know it it's there because I've seen other people do it. Uh, cast cursed weapon with a talisman of beast that you can't actually you don't meet the requirements for. Then you don't get the uh, you don't get the the penalty of the HP depletion. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to the Isterel in these narrow corridors. Hey, buddy. Why are you so upset? The pickaxe ones are the worst, really. The hot poker guys are are, are annoying as well. They're, they can be tough, but I just have a uh, I have a deep. A deep hatred for the pickaxe guys because they tend to kill me the most. <laughs> I don't know if I would say a deep hatred necessarily, but definitely not my uh, my least favorite of the miners of the minor enemy. Oh, dang it! Didn't want it to fall there, but it's okay. So yeah, that was good news, not having to pay for my laptop. Um, oh, and I watched, uh, while I was waiting for my, some more of my uh, episodes to finish uploading, today I decided to watch, um, dang it, what the heck? I got the wrong weapon out. 
knock him down um i watched a bruce lee movie i have over the summer i bought the criterion collection they released they released um all the uh a collection of all five of his his films remastered it's a pretty cool box set and i watched the first two uh the big boss and fist of fury and today i watched uh the way of the dragon which was directed by Bruce Lee himself it takes place in Rome if you haven't seen it and and what's his name the that American guy ooh bad idea <laughs> that American guy <laughs> yeah that that American guy we all know who that is I'm not even using poison arrows on him. I don't even need to at this point. Shoot fire. Shoot some fire. And, uh, Chuck Norris. He, he, he's, like, the, mov the movie has a very simple plot, as you would expect for most uh, kung fu movies. It's hilariously campy. In a charming way. Bruce Lee is... <laughs> Bruce Lee's acting... I mean, I, I think Bruce Lee is e easily the star, of, the star of, the f of his films. I do like the side characters that are... That are, reappear in his other films. In, in, the, in the Hong Kong films. Um, because I think his last films were... Uh, made in the United States. Under the Dragon and... From what I hear, Enter the Dragon is his best movie, so that's the next one I'm going to watch. I'm watching them in chronological order. And I'm excited to watch that one. But yeah, this one is like... The the plot is basically... It's it's kind of similar to the big boss, where like, Bruce Lee... Bruce Lee... Oh, we got an invader. Cool. Well, hopefully I don't die to this guy. Get our axe and our regenerator shield. Well, we'll get this thing so he'll know where I am now. Yeah, the the. The plot is Bruce Lee comes from Hong Kong. To his uncle sends him to Hong Kong to help his friend with the restaurant. Yeah, I see him down there. Um, the restaurant in Rome is like being they're being harassed by these mobsters which is pretty ridiculous and Bruce Lee keeps beating up the mobsters and they find they're finally are like got me. He surprised me. Um, there he keeps beating up the gangsters, so they go and get their their big weapon, which is uh, do I have any stones of the lines? Their big weapon, which is is uh, Chuck Norris. He's like this big bad guy that can 
beat him up and then they have this like epic fight scene at the end of the movie where Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee duke it out and well it's a Bruce Lee film so it's uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious come on how is this thing not how did that thing get away Well, I got that shortcut, so I don't really have to deal with that official, but I do have to go back up there to get my souls. And I, and I do have to deal with the fat official. But we are going to use the thief's ring. Probably want this. So yeah, it's a Bruce Lee film, so obviously Bruce Lee kills Chuck Norris. Yeah. But it's pretty... I mean, the fighting is, is fun. If you like martial arts films, Bruce Lee is... Obviously... I don't need to... He needs no introduction. probably could have healed against that guy, but I... I mean, that invader. But I just kind of was... Not thinking properly. I guess we'll say. Um, though... I think I preferred I preferred Fist of Fury to this movie. Fist of Fury is uh, like a Japanese Fist of Fury is this Japanese, uh, or it, the plot, the plot deals with this Japanese club, martial arts club, and they're like, basically saying that the Chinese martial arts is no good. I mean, the same sort of thing, same dude, the same sort of thing is going on in... in the uh here's where my souls are Fight out here, man. This oh, he got a second chance too. <clears throat> the same sort of thing is happening. With the not in so much in the plot, but like the characters in there's, there's some characters, so the movie, he goes, <laughs> you know, I'm really doing a good job at explaining this. Um, he goes back to help his family who's running a restaurant, or members of his family there. And the, 
they're learning they're learning Japanese karate and he's like and they're like well it's better than Chinese Chinese Kung Fu and he's like oh yeah and then Bruce Lee like beats everybody up but the thing is is Bruce Lee used a mixture of all different forms of martial arts he didn't just use Kung Fu Hey, we did get a blue. C4S4E4D. Says. I don't know how you would say that. Uh, we don't need this uh, thief's ring anymore. That sign came in just in time, which was careful, man. Don't don't get whacked. <laughs> We are, I already did all this. That shield ain't gonna help you, man. Let's just go. We don't really need to fight that guy. He wants to fight him, though. I feel like this is not a good idea. Yeah, I don't know why this guy was trying to fight that fat official. I'll go back for him though. Or I'll just get sniped by him. Wow. How do I always have a hard time in Stonefang? I should have kept the Thief's Ring on. Thief's Ring is overpowered. He broke my second chance. Well, that guy should... I would imagine he'd put his sign down again. Keep our eye out. I don't know that that... I mean, I'm level 66. That guy's gotta have... Upgraded gear. Ooh, this guy's got a dragon bone smasher. I'm dead. Well, there goes those souls. It's okay. I'll get plenty more. I did have like 400,000 though. And of course, now a sign is here. But this is why I go body form. Hero of the Sun. Just got a Northern Regalia. 
Or no, that's not another Regalia, that's the uh, Demon Brand. I did have those souls for quite a while, guys. I was kind of hoping to keep them, to be honest, but like I said, you... No, man, I already got that. This, another invader. Oh man, this guy's lagging. They, they didn't die. Yeah, yeah, that northern, and that's not a northern regalia. It's the demon brand. I keep saying northern regalia. Ooh. He is a little bit laggy. This is fat official man. Four ninety four. Let me backstab him. Got him. Yeah. Screw that guy. Mm, let's go back to the spear for this. Careful, man. He's got health though, he survived them getting, he survived an attack. So that means he's got a decent build. Well, he ought to if he's using that weapon. did all this although I would like I'll be honest I would like those iron bullets. was this where I died yeah this is where I died I think like originally when that yeah, the guy first invaded me Hero of the Sun. I'm assuming that's a Dark Souls reference to Solaire. By the way, I got this uh, new pop filter. Let me know if you guys think it makes a difference in the sound quality. Um...
It has a weird... It's like a foam sort of cover for the mic. It has a... That's it has a weird smell. Not a huge fan of it, but hoping it'll air out. I mean, I say that because it's like right by my face. And this guy's just kicking butt. Going right through here. He's obviously got pure white tendency if he's able to be so powerful with that thing. Gotta drop all these stones off to Thomas. We're maxed out on clear stone as always. I don't know why I'm picking up all this stuff just for the sake of it, I guess. I don't need to go to Ed right now. And hopefully, now that I'm more powerful and have a little bit more survivability, if, assuming we make it to the spider... Oh, you... You real jerk. You are a real jerk, you know that? Take out this this pickaxe, dude. What are you even? What are you even hammering? Man, he just wastes these. Can you please get that crystal lizard for me? Not the, not that ring. Get out of there. Okay, and now we'll go with this ring. Try to cast God's Wrath from up here. He's probably just wasting them all, dude. Yeah. I summoned the right phantom. Why couldn't I have had him? When that other guy invaded. <laughs> Are we doing on time? We're okay. Thank you, man. You're real help. I wanted that crystal lizard because that's the only crystal lizard that drops spider stone. And it's the best way to get chunks without having to kill these, these miners over and over. Not that I really need spider stone, but... I don't know. Old habits die hard, I suppose. Did that even kill it? Yeah, it did. We'll stay with the, the Mirrodin Hammer for now. I need to go buy more spice. That was another thing that was nice about having just a ton of souls. So I could just go buy a ton of spice. But, I mean, we got all those souls. Oh, they can turn it? They changed that. Okay, they must have changed it in the patch. Because when I was co-oping, I couldn't turn those cranks when I was a blue phantom. So they must have changed that because that phantom just turned that crank for me. And that's how it was in the original, which I'm glad they did change it. 
because that means inv invaders can also, uh, I'm assuming invaders can do that too. And we don't really need to go over there. I like just picking up all the stuff for uh, completion's sake. Some of the some of the items, like that club over there, I don't really need to go get that. Now, time for the fat official. I'm assuming this is where. Yeah, he's already killed him. Good work, man. She, it is a female avatar. Woo. He's got no time for that. <laughs> he just keeps going. <laughs> he wants his body form back. He wants that boss kill. Man, that that sword is good. I'm going to have to to mess around with the demon brand. Uh, I don't need that crisp blade. I'll get the spider stone. I can't even pick up point four. Now he can't. Well, he can. You can turn that. Phantoms could turn that one, but. For whatever reason, the other cranks that I couldn't turn. Uh, I'll go get these spider stone chunks over here. And we're going to want to go with the mirrored and... Well, we'll try the axe, and if the axe... If the axe isn't doing too well... Do regen and fire defense. Let's go. Did he die? No. Careful, dude. He likes to roll. I play this. W I play this fight more, much more defensively. You can you can play it like that if you if you're good at dodging and rolling through his attacks and punishing. I mean, I suppose that's a that's the way. He's really. Uh, He's really good at that, and his sword just does tons of damage. Dude, get him, get him! Yeah, we did it. Good work, man. That was fun, dude. You were a good, you were a very good cooperator. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I messed him up. We lost our souls doing that, but. Like I keep saying, we'll get we'll get him back. We'll get him back. It's all part of the game, guys. If you get too mad when you're when you lose your souls, <laughs> I can't even pick up this pure spider stone. If you get too mad, 
you're, I think, I think, uh, I don't know. I don't mean to say it's not frustrating, but I think it's, be it's best if you do lose a lot of souls to just sort of, re you know, take a step back, take a deep breath. It's like, it's okay. Because, you know, the game is designed to make you feel upset about, like, by losing that. And it's almost a relief when you don't have, because the more you have, the higher the tension gets in a way. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I do have a little more time, but I feel like I wouldn't really have enough to do anything meaningful. So I'm going to take care of uh, some uh, inventory management and other things and probably work. I'm probably going to uh, kill myself there to get it back to pure black and then go through there again to get the primeval demon and then uh, kill Skurver and then do the flame lurker so that's probably what I'm going to be doing next anyways guys hope you enjoyed this episode we had some fun pvp encounters uh, and, a, and, a, and a great cooperator good co-op session and a, and a first that was revenge for that for dying to that spider over and over on new game or a new game plus i should say got him on the first time on new game plus two all right <laughs> leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one Mombasa.